Cooking with Love. Hi, I'm April Love and you are Cooking with Love today. On the menu is black bean hummus, which usually hummus is made with garbanzo beans or chickpeas, same diff. Uh, but I don't really like those beans, so I'm going to be using black beans today to make some super delicious black bean hummus. And don't be surprised because it's a little bit darker than traditional hummus, but it's super yummy. So uh, the ingredients for black bean hummus are the same as traditional hummus. Uh, I just start with a like a 15 ounce can of black beans. You can rinse them if you like, get a extra sodium. Uh, I have sesame tahini, which is just sesame seed butter ground up into a paste. And then use a good quality olive oil with good flavor. Uh, you can either use the fresh garlic if you're bold and daring or garlic powder if you don't want it quite as like a kick in the face because it'll be strong with this. Um, I use a little cumin, like it, a little tiny bit of salt, lemon, and a nice onion. We won't be using this whole onion, but as much as you like, you can use it. So, for, and you're going to need also uh, a food processor to blend it all up nice and creamy and um, things to dip it in, like carrots, or you can use tortilla chips, pita chips, um, pita bread that's been maybe steamed to made a little soft, be made a little soft, or put in the on, uh, oven, and it's super yummy that way too. So first thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna chuck these in here, the black beans, and then we're gonna chop up the onion. Need some music. Okay. And you don't have to chop it super duper fine because the food processor will chop it up. I just like to kind of give it a head start and I'll show you how much I'm putting in there. I like a lot of onion. So, hope you carry toothpaste with you. A good, like maybe, this is about a half of a medium sized onion, possibly a large onion. Just chuck that in there. Oops, see, I lost one. It's gonna be very oniony. I didn't even, I'm not gonna use all of it because that's gonna be very oniony. So um, I'm gonna use one clove of garlic. I usually put about three of them in there. But best way to open garlic is to smash it and then the peel will come right off. And you can cut off that weird little dry spot. That always gives me the creeps. So I always cut that off. I don't know what that is. And then just put your onion in there. And whew, it's very oniony. <laughs> okay, and then I'm actually going to use a little bit of garlic powder too because, as I said, I usually put in three cloves. So I like it garlicky. A little garlic powder. So instead of just the um, multiple cloves of garlic, I don't want it to get super, super oniony. So hold on, let me wipe my hands off. Blah. Move this guy off to the side. And then we're going to put in the sesame tahini. And it's you can get it at like Trader Joe's, any grocery store. I typically get it at, um, try to find a good legit Indian store or store where they, uh, international market where they sell all kinds of foods. And you can get a large jar of it and it's usually at a better price. But I just have this small one today. So we're going to just pour in about however much that was. That was probably a quarter cup to a third of a cup. I don't measure, so you can just eyeball it. And then when you make your hummus in, it's like it's too oniony, next time you can scale back on the onion. If it's not oniony enough, add more. So you can do it to taste. The nice flavorful olive oil, I just pour that in as well, about a fourth of a cup. And I'm not a huge salt person, don't like a whole lot of salt, so I just do like maybe one two little sprigs of salt. And if you want it saltier, you can add more. And then a little bit of the cumin powder. I like that. Chuck in a little extra. And then the lemon. Oopsie, have to try to make sure the seeds don't go in there. Okay. And we're just gonna squeeze in the juice of about half of a lemon in there. Make sure no seeds. I wish I had a little sifter thing to catch the seeds, but I forgot that today. 
So I'm just gonna do it over a spoon so that if any seeds fall in, they won't go in my hummus. I won't have to go dig them out. So the juice of about half a lemon, and again, if you like it more lemony, add more. Mmm, and it gives it that nice, tangy, citrusy, tart yumminess. All right, let me make that nice and even. And that should give it enough liquid in there. And like I kind of drain my beans. Some people don't. They just chuck in the beans with the little like gravy that comes in a can. And that will add extra moisture to your hummus as well. So you can leave it in there if you like. And you may even need to add a smidge of water if it gets a little too dry. Let me add a little bit of this juice in there. Give it a little extra moisture. And then plug your ears, we're gonna blend. And if it's a little thick, like mine's just a tiny bit thick, not too bad actually. I'm just gonna add a little more olive oil. And sometimes I'll even add just some fresh, nice water, just if it's a little thick, just to thin it out a little bit. But some people like thicker hummus too, so just like thicker guac or whatever. And we're done. So you can serve hummus immediately but it actually gets more flavorful in the uh, or in the refrigerator once you um, put it in a in a container cover it stick it in the fridge let it sit and get cold for a few hours it gets super flavorful so time for a taste test let me see if it's any good mmm that's good oh yumminess oh the onions hello alrighty so then we're gonna put this in a, let me wipe this out. We're gonna put this in a pan, or in a, in a bowl. Just my lemons were in there. And that's, that's how easy it is to make hummus. People get afraid of it and they wanna buy it in the store. When you can make fresh hummus out of black beans or pinto beans or chickpeas, and it's super easy. And it's a lot healthier because you can add anything you want to it. If you wanna add a little bit of spinach in there, your kids will never know what's in there. If you wanna sweeten it up a tiny bit, add a baby carrot or two and it will sweeten it up. So then you just get it off your food processor and you just put it in a bowl and it's ready to be served. Usually a good chilling time is it gets more flavorful though. So let it chill and then it's ready to serve. And again, you can serve it with pita chips or if you bake a pita, in the oven for just a little bit to get it nice and soft or you could steam it cut it into wedges dip it super delicious i even serve it on salads like i'll make a salad and i'll just use instead of dressing i'll use hummus and it's, it's really delicious so and it's very nutritious and healthy and as i said you can sneak vegetables in there nobody will ever know sneak in some kale a couple sprigs of spinach and we are all set hold on we're gonna have some people come and taste it. Alrighty, who's first? Okay, my friend Kenji's coming. Taste, and see the color is a little bit darker than traditional hummus. It's all pretty. You can put it in a nice centerpiece. Kenji, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Excited, nervous? Excited. You ever had black bean hummus before? Flavors are hitting good. you, aren't they? It's, it's hitting you, yeah. I like it. Well, good. Thank you want to try it on a chip? Sure. Okay. It's nice because there are so many different flavors. There's like level, levels of flavors, and sometimes you taste and you're like, oh, I taste the bean. Oh, I taste the onion. Oh, I taste the garlic. So they kind of hit you in layers. Yummy? It'll mm. get even more strong in flavor as it sits in the fridge though. Good, thank you. All right, you're welcome. All right, Sarge, your turn. Friends, coming to try the hummus. Carrot or chip? Or both? I'll try carrot first. All righty, it's my brother. Hello. I don't have to hold it, but. That might be too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a carnivore, I like, I like meat.
Let's get a cup. Let's pack the list. Really, you like? Oh, good. Okay. You want to try to sip? <laughs> you never tried hummus before? Regular hummus? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Sweet. So your first hummus is black bean hummus. Mm -hmm. I used to make Delicious. this. Ah, are you good? I used to make this at uh, the youth center called Starfish Learning Center. Got to give a plug for them in Chicago. And the kids at Starfish always had the black bean hummus. They'd never tried the traditional hummus. So when they saw it and it was lighter, they said, what's the matter with it? So they were just used to black bean hummus and they loved it. Good, yeah? Have we converted you? Well, <laughs> to hummus, but not to vegetarianism. I will add it to my diet. Nice. It's Thank it's you. Better than the store bought, definitely. Yeah, it is, right? It's fresher, right? Mm -hmm. You can taste all the flavors. Mm -hmm. And super easy to make, yes? <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> Thank you. All righty. And that's it for the very first Cooking with Love. Very super easy to make black bean hummus. Let me know what you think. Ciao. Enjoy your veggies, people. Enjoy your veggies.